My name is Jakob Simba, the founder of Copenhagen Sparkling Tea Company. I've been working in the restaurant business for over 20 years and developing beverages for the last 10 years. The idea behind the Copenhagen Sparkling Tea started six or seven years ago at a restaurant called Hermann. I had to make a wine pairing with wild French uh, forest strawberry. And in my wine list I had 1,700 wines but not a single one of them match the dessert that I need to pair this wine with. And then I started working with the tea and extracting the flavors from the different kinds of tea and put it into my base beverage. And then I served it for the guests during the night. And it came out as a huge success. Sparkling tea as a category is a brand new beverage category because it's not wine, it's not beer, and it's not cider. So when you taste sparkling tea, you should try to start on a fresh page without trying to compare it to something else. Sparkling tea is made between 6 to 13 different kinds of teas. We extract the flavors from the teas at different temperatures at different time intervals. So imagine me standing with a big pot and extracting the teas over 6, 7, 8, up to 24 hours. And what we're trying to do is build a flavor or a taste experience with the attack, the middle palate and the aftertaste. And on that taste journey, we add in aromas with the different kinds of teas to build this extraordinary new beverage category we are having here, Copenhagen Sparkling Tea. We extract the flavors from the teas and use it as a blend just when you're blending wines. In some regions you're blending several different kind of grape varieties. We do that as well, but we use teas instead. The magic is in the teas and the quality of the teas. And we use the best teas as possible we can find on the market. Copenhagen Sparkling Tea Blue is our non-alcoholic version. So what do you drink when you don't want any alcohol and still want to have a good evening? It's made of 13 different kinds of tea. We have four white teas and in the nose you will find jasmine, you will find a little bit of chamomile and a very complex aroma palette as well. Copenhagen Sparkling Tea Blue is a classic example of how we work with the flavors. We use green tea to get depth and get a little bit of umami. Then we have white tea to soften up the water, so we have this very, very smooth and round feeling on the palate. Then we use a black tea to take the aftertaste long, and then we use aroma teas to build the aroma on top of that. Our dream is to become the best producer of low and non-alcoholic beverage in the world.